Hi everyone, in last part we created the Laravel application and now we will make first change in this application. After that we will create our first file and check the output on the browser. And at last we will discuss one important interview question which is very common but important. Reason being, uh, this question asked very frequently in the interviews. You can also ask one thing to me like, uh, till now we haven't discussed file and folder structure of the Laravel in this series then why we are creating first file and can we understand this without file and folder structure see first i want to show you like how you can make some changes on this area whenever you are loading your first page how you can make uh, some changes in this file second thing i want to show you like if you want to replace this file then how you can do that these are the basic things and you can easily understand them without understanding the file and folder structure but what is the need of this so that you can uh, feel confident like we can make some changes there and we can replace the default code with the other file also all right and don't worry slowly we will go with the mvc uh, pattern file and folder structure and everything all right so this is the complete step by step tutorial so first of all you can go to your project and there you will find a folder with the name of resources and in this you will again find a folder views so this there is a welcome dot blade dot php i'm very sure you can have one question there like what is the blade there php you can understand this is the php extension of the file but what is the blade don't worry we will create separate part on this for now you can just uh, skip this thing right so this is a code that you are uh, uh, seeing there right so what you can do you can just copy just select everything from there and remove it and just simply put there hello laravel and you can close the h1 tag right and now you can see that change that's all right so this is if uh, you want to just make the change in the current uh, visual file there and after that if you want to just create new file then inside this views you can simply create one more file for example you can just say that first first dot plate dot php all right and now you can just write something there for example hello laravel like this right again uh, even you can just say that hello first file or something right you can just do that and if you want to remove this home.blade.php you can remove i just created for just uh, you can say that testing purpose right so i'm removing it all right so now how we can just see this file instead of this file welcome.blade.php what do you need to do okay just check if there is any error there is no error cool what you can simply do you can go to the routes and then there is a web.php file and inside this just change this welcome with your file name which is first and you don't need to put their blade.php just put the first thing right and now this is working fine all right so this is the way that how you can change or create first file all right and that question which i'm asking what actually happen if you will not provide their dot blade dot php so if you remove this blade thing so will it work or no the thing it will definitely work there will be no issue here you can see that right so this is a uh, for just displaying the pages there this is the optional thing but there is some purpose of this blade.php that I'll uh, tell you in the upcoming part. Thank you so much for watching this part. If you still have any query, any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. This is my Paytm number for donation. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel, like this video, share your feedback in the comment section. Thanks guys.